The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. The aftermath of every social revolution brings about change. Cultural norms and landmarks shift as our minds and hearts expand beyond the familiar. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose in the land of the living. This is our time to renew, revive, and restore the hope lost to the busyness of life. This is our time to dig again and rebuild from the storms of our past on a solid footing that holds. Welcome to The Foundation. The Foundation. Talking Heads with Naughty is brought to you by the Bahamas. The Foundation with Heart Grant is brought to you by Alive, Bomb for Bones, Burger King, Commonwealth Bank, Epic Battery, Grand Bahama News, Popeyes, Printmasters, and Lost Electric Motors. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio, Howard Grant in your company, The Foundation. Absolutely beautiful day, grateful to be in the land of the living and the showers are definitely something that we're looking for. I don't know what part of Nassau are you in, if you're here in the city of Nassau or wherever you are listening in, it is showering where I come from here in Nassau and I'm grateful for it. Remember we've had this kind of a conversation, the grass was dry for a little while. So I'm hoping, um, well, you know, not too much, uh, you know, because no one wants to drown in their paso. Let's be decent with this, right? <laughs> but let's have a good conversation, guys. Today is a beautiful day. Grateful to be in your company. I'm expecting company. So, um, you know, we're going to wait to see if he actually pops in the studio to be able to have that kind of a good conversation. Um, got to shout out my good, decent people over at Da Vinci's Printing and Innovators. They got everything laid out for you. Make sure you go down there and check them out. Check them out. They are absolutely wonderful. I always say this to you. If you're in the kind of a market, if you're in this space and you're looking for someone to be able to help you give life and, and put meat to that sort of a silhouette of an idea that you had and you wanted to be able to pop and come to life and you want proper graphics, you need a structure, you need printing, you need this, you need that, you got to go check them out. Check them out, DaVinciPrinting242.com. DaVinciPrinting242.com. They can be able to assist you. Just send your stuff there. Let them know that you're coming. You can pay when you get there, and they can take very, very good, uh, good, good, um, you know, good care of you. Make sure you check them out. They are in uh, Village Road, right down Village Road, Soldier Road, Wolf Road, uh, um, and Bernard Road. Right there at the intersection. Right there, you can be able to find them. And they take very, very, very good care of you. Just let them know that Howard Grant sent you down there. Got to shout out my good, decent people over at AFS Insurance Agents and Brokers. They got everything laid out for you as it relates to insurance. Now, if you're in the market for insurance, you get yourself an SD, jet skis, your liveries, all these things. If you have bulk, if you have more than one, you got to be able to get this thing on the road. You got your plates, your MP finally come true for you. Praise God. Now you want to be able to get this thing moving and get that business going. Give them a call at 3411-AFS, 3411-AFS. They do in-house financing. So make sure you talk with them. Talk with my good friend, Ethric Bow. He's also in the market for um, uh, some administrative persons. So if you're looking for a job, if you're looking for something to do from an administrative standpoint and you're listening in, 3411-AFS, let Ethric know that Howard sent you down there and you're looking for something to do. So give them a call. Guys, they're open on Monday to Friday and also on Saturday till 2 p.m. So I'm grateful to be in your company and kind of have that kind of a conversation. It is a beautiful day. I will not be here on Thursday. I will not be. I'm going to be probably going to do an old show, but I, I'm not going to be here on Thursday. God spare our lives. Um, it's graduation time. Uh, it's transition time. My baby going from K4 or 5 into the first grade. So we're going to be able to, to look at that and uh, see exact. I will not be here. My wife then called me. She said, see this picture? Put this on one shirt. Let's get these shirts. <laughs> do we do this? Have we ever done this before? We had three before this one. We've never done this before. Anyway, we're going to do something new. So we're going to enjoy ourselves and have a great time on Thursday. And I th Friday is a holiday, if I'm, not, if, I, if I'm correct. Friday is a holiday, right? Friday is a holiday, right? So I'm going to be able to see you on Monday. 
on Monday, um, uh, the week after, and we should be able to see some things. Uh, is it me, or you know, do we feel kind of deflated? Are you, are you, did you catch yourself since these things yet? Have you, have you had an opportunity to be able to catch yourself? Did you sleep enough? I still feel like bags are under my eyes. I still, <laughs> so I don't know. I haven't really slept. I've been crafting some stuff, developing some stuff, doing some stuff. You've seen me out there at almost every one of the events that the Free National Movement has had. And I'm truly grateful for the opportunity, but I did not have an opportunity since then to really be able to sleep. I'm hoping that my children would give me an opportunity. I must have got to send them somewhere. I might have to send them somewhere. Who knows? Let's just be able to do it, guys. I'm going to open up the lines. I'd love you to be able to join in the conversation with me today. Consultants budget hike at $76.6 million in new budget for, the, for government consultants. More than $141 million allocated for the new Ministry of Works Investment Projects. And um, moving Auditor General's office under Parliament would improve its autonomy. This is what Pintard is actually saying. Um, we heard something to this effect from House and Mutri. House and Mutri started to have this kind of a conversation that specified autonomy and identified the specifics and the specificity of how autonomy should work within democracy. And, uh, you know, the importance of being able to dive into these organizations or subsectors of government and know that you don't have to be able to rely on any other subsector as it relates to making a decision for accountability, transparency, and sort of, 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 uh, of above board nature. And also with recent missing children reports, people, uh, police urge parents to be more vigilant. Uh, if you heard the story just before being able to come here, they started to talk about the importance of being able to look in and look on uh, your children's socials media. Y'all just have your little children. I, I mean, I say, I say y'all. And next thing you know, my daughter doing it, right? But <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I got to check this particular thing out, right? But I've, I've spoken to her relentlessly about that. I said, baby, if I ever, if daddy lining up and jucking up and dancing up on anybody's social media, that's it. I will have three children after that. I'm just going to be as decent as possible. I got four now, but I'll have three after that. And I'm, I'm just hoping that my son don't decide to wind up and choke up. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just messing around. But I, I think it's important that we as parents take on that opportunity to be able to um, um, to spy in. Yeah, and this is, this, is, this is not daddy's territory in many instances. It's just not my territory. But mommy is quite comfortable doing that. So she, she could go on the social media, go on the phone, see who the children text and so forth and so on. And then she comes and she reports. She says, your son, doom, boom, 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 boom. Or your daughter, boom, boom, boom. And then we deal with it accordingly as a disciplinarian in that particular state. So we want to be able to encourage you to always keep abreast of what your children do. And things have changed over the years. I remember one time ago, you had to go through so many things. I used to like this girl in West Grand Bahama. I just want to be decent as possible as I say this, right? Yeah, this was during the time of Boys to Men, right? So you would play your little uh, your cassette tape in the background uh, when she come on the phone. Now you didn't play; you couldn't play it when you answer, when you call it, because then your mummy, the mummies answer the phone or the Grammy. Because back in the day, you live with Grammy. You live with Grammy and Granddaddy and everybody in the house, right? So you call in and Grammy answer the phone. Hello, who this is? Well, who Charlie is? And where y'all from? Okay, baby, you right? But then mommy come on the phone. I love who this is, right? And then the big sister come on. The, I had to go through seven people before she come on the phone, right? I told every one of them she helping me with my homework. They know it's a lie. It is an absolute lie. She was never, she was never in none of my classes. But when she come on, I played the little boys to men. Doom, 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 doom. Hey, what's up, man? What's going on with you? It's time to get off this phone, girl. What you doing? So you had to go through so many borders. You had to go through so many checkpoints before you could engage in these conversations. Not now. Not now. Text, eye on the corner. Boom. Jump through the window. Gone. We have to fix this. How do we now create checkpoints to know exactly what our children are doing and how they're going to be able to move and maneuver um, um, and how we could be able to ensure that they're safe? How are we going to do that? We have to figure out a way to be able to do that. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to a very good friend sitting in the studio with me today. None other than Garth Roseboro. Garth, what's happening with you, my brother? Say good afternoon to the people out there. Yeah, pleasure. I hear, I hear you talking about winding up and shaking up. I thought that's a behemoth thing. I thought... No. John, listen, John Canoe 
Gombe Festival. No. All those things is winding up and shaking up. Not for TikTok. All that you, you, you saw Minas was winding up and jumping up. Oh, he was. He was. He was so if your leader's winding he, up and was, jumping up, what do you, you, you think your children gonna do? Yeah, yeah. I say put one leg up and then do the skank. You oh, that, the skank? Was, that yeah. was that was the why. Yeah, this yeah. was just a lot. It, was, it just didn't take half his clothes off. But David danced like that. They said, "Is it David wind up and jump up?" When it was time for him to sit on the throne, that was a victorious praise, dance. Yeah, praise the Lord. That's after a great deal of trial and tribulation and coming children, to an end. Winding up and. Than the anointing that was put on his head from when Samuel told him that he's going to be king. After all this time, after all this tribulation, my God, we got it now. Yeah, that's what the dance for. What, what minister didn't dance for that? What do you dance for? I don't know. I, I, I just see him. I, I try to go. When your children dancing because mm. Howard Grant is their daddy. No, no, no. My children can't dance like that. Well, but no, 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 they no, happy no. that you are a daddy. No, but praise God, dance in your room. In the room. But no, in the room is no, where the phone no, is. No. That's where TikTok None is. None of my children have phone. The big boy have phone. Nah, I, saw I, told him. Him. <laughs> I told him. I saw him in action. I told Boy, him he that. could. He could. He could. <laughs> I told good, him. good day to the world. Good day to the world. Thank you, Guardian Radio. Guardian staff. It's good to be here. My brother, um, um, you know, you and I sat together. I know... Of course, this is going to be, um, you know, a post-political, post-convention conversation that we sort of uh, surmise some of the things that have actually happened over the course of the past few weeks and really been able to have this kind of a conversation of where we are in the country and where we're going. That conversation needs to translate and transition into a national posture and position now. No longer concentrated only on the free national movement. No longer isolated and being able to pinpoint what's happening in the organization with expectations externally that horse is dead anyone with a stick seeking to beat it we are taking the sticks away that is a dead horse it is done the free national movement had made a very sound decision as it relates to who's going to be the leader of the organization and Minis is nowhere near that conversation three of them said hell no one said well we, we can do it Minis, you know something? I just want to be as decent as possible. Dr. Minis, I indicated that Minis got 25% of the council. That's all he got, 25% of the council. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, it's about 800 people. It's about 800 people. I said, so he should get about 200 votes, as you said. How the hell he can get 200 votes, Howard? I said, well, 25% of 800 is 200, mm -hmm. right? So they said, no, Howard, he can't get 200. So I said, well, what? You mean to tell me that Minis can't get 200 votes? This was a conversation that happened about a week ago. I said, you mean to tell me Minis can't get 200 votes? I don't believe that. Howard, he can't get 200 votes. So said, so done. Mm -hmm. I thought it was an amazing thing. I thought it was an amazing thing. And sometimes you look on with this sort of an idea that uh, are they manipulating democracy? <laughs> I just won't be decent. Uh, is there a manipulation with uh, this sort of an idea to be able to move in one direction or another? Has there been this sort of a free will that exists in the free national movement or any other organization that gives people the autonomy to make a decision unto themselves? When is the last time that we've seen any elected, uh, uh, any uh, congregation of this sort, Right? any council of this sort, make a decision unto themselves. When is the last time that they jumped up and say, this is what we're doing as a council? Mm -hmm. huh? We haven't seen that in the FNM in almost 30 years. Can I say this? Can I say this? We haven't seen this sort of an idea that exists uh, as it relates to making a decision on your own volition in any organization for almost 30, maybe more than 30 years in this country. And you're thinking that's what happened? I don't believe that that's what I believe that what we've seen, the cyclical nature of politics that continues to be able to repeat itself and juggernauts being able to come in and say, uh, uh, dangle their, their political collateral, dangle their proverbial carrots before you, and you decide to move based upon what they say. That is the nature of politics in this country. Okay. I'm with you so far. And I believe that we've seen that again. Of course. Of course, it was very evident. There was nothing hidden about that, and according to our own ethical system politically, there was no shame involved in the, in the process either. It's politics. It's bohemian politics. 
And until we understand... That's not ethics. It's not against the law, but it's, it's, it's I not said, ethical. I said political ethics. I didn't say ethics. That's not political ethics. What is political ethics? Like posture and position. No, sir, that's church ethics. No, no, no. Political ethics is only two you sides. Call, you call men in politics honorable. No, no, the no. honorability is an expectation for there to be Ro ethics. Roach, cockroach is the same roach, old boy. It's a, it's tomato, a, tomato? Not, yeah, that's it. Politics is honorable because the honorability of politics is what it really is. It doesn't get any worse than that. It is what it is. Um, it's either you win or you lose. It's no middle ground. There's no gray area here. You do what you got to do to win. You say what you have to say to win. That's what they do. Is there any honorability in that? Have you not heard before where people have promised you? I think you, that's the lowest level of politics that could exist in tomorrow. your world. In this world, we expect it every day. That is the lousiest, I agree with lowest, you. filthiest concept that you do what you have to do. You know something? As a young man, I never lied to a woman. Never. Howard, you're handsome, you're big, you're grand. You ain't got to lie. You intimidate, man. Yes, that's the way it is. You sweet like that. What I'm saying is... I watch fellas lie to women. Yeah, that's what they got to do. If I mean, I the watch... The fella ain't that good looking. And then beyond that, they come here and lie to us about what they do with the woman. The woman don't even know their name. Yeah. Why you all lie so much? In the world full of liars. That's what I keep trying to tell you. Howard... What you lie on the woman for? The woman lying to... Okay. The woman say she love your smile. What that means? I don't know. Okay, so everybody's smiling every day. You got a billion smiles on earth. Why she got to love yours? Only if you, only if she you smile. Me. Okay, then. So what you talking about? You know, some of the people, uh, you all talk about Christianity, right? Christian people, they after something. They want streets of gold. They want pearly gates. They want. They don't want to die. Uh, they want all the food. You know what the fella said to me the other day driving in my car? Can't be everybody. Though. No, no, no. I tell you what the fella said to me. Because when the fella said to me. And honey, I can't even take it. He said, God. You know, you know what? I so glad we going to hell. And I say, why? He said, because then we ain't got to wake no more. That's his reason. It ain't got nothing to do with loving Jesus. That's why he just don't want to wake no more. So if I got to love Jesus so I don't have to work no more, that's what I'm going to do. I can love Jesus so I don't. So the end product is I do not have to work anymore. The end product is not that I want to love Jesus forever more. You see? And this is the problem I have with Christianity. It's a lazy because, man. But guess what I'm saying to you? This is the problem I have with Christianity. A lot of people tell you, oh, I'm a Christian because they want God to rain down the blessings from heaven and bless them everywhere. And do everything. This is a Bahamian thing, you know. We, we're in the best country in the world, but you know what? God lives in the Bahamas, and God is going to bless the Bahamas, but we don't want to wake. We just want God to provide us. Oh, God, Jesus, send me a new car. Oh, God, Jesus, I need a new house. But, but everybody, you, you can't put everybody in the box. I am putting everybody, but I'm talking generally speaking. And you see, you see the evidence all around you, eh? Or you don't? I don't see. I don't... The politicians pray to Jesus too before election. After election, we don't hear not one of them talk about God in Parliament. Where, where did God go? That's all, I'm, that's all I'm saying. This is a part of the honorability factor. Honorability is only there when it's necessary. But for the most part, we understand the true nature of this game. You gotta be, you gotta be skullduggerous and conniving. This game is that who can get better, hurry up and get before there's nothing left. It can't be everybody, though. But ain't everybody, people like me and you, we ain't, we ain't like that, because we ain't want nothing more than what we already have. But people believe we want it, so therefore they compete against you. They believe that they have to say to you, how are they going to get nothing out of this deal? What does that profit them? Whether you get something or, not, or, or, or you don't. But they just feel that, you know, you want something and they don't want you to get anything. That seems to be an undercurrent in the Bahamian society. They don't understand that some of us understand that life is not forever. And what we now have in our possession, we manage it to the best of our ability. Profits that we receive from it when skilled. That's all this is. Whether you go to Parliament or not, Howard Grant, you still can be Howard Grant. Your children still can be winding up on uh, no camera, no, doing no TikTok. No way. Because Howard Grant has a standard of life. The average person's standard of life is based on Howard Grant's life. They just want to know that they can do just a little bit better than Howard Grant. That's all they want to know. But that's peculiar. But guess what? They don't have to live as good as the politician. So why the politician understands this? The politician going to take millions of dollars from you, and you don't have no problem with that. But if Howard Grant gets $10 contract, they mad with Howard Grant. Here is the issue with our country. But these low-life low, low people that you're talking about, 
if you have that kind of a mindset and this is what you exist in, this is how you thrive, this is the focus that you have when you wake up in the morning trying to be able to compete with those around yes. you with not an understanding that there is supremacy above you, that there is a purpose in you and you're only competing with what around you, then I know that you, one, are immature, two, you never align yourself, three, you're not prepared to be able to move forward in life. But I know these things. But this is what they do. Their whole life is to keep you, you down. I don't, you we call it in the Bahamas. We call it in the Bahamas, the, not even the white crab syndrome, the black crab syndrome. That's what they call this. Holding the next man down. You understand? So the only thing you can do, like a, a virtuous man that you say that you are, is stay focused on the task at hand and move forward. The Irish politician has said to you that the purpose of their presence is to promote a better life for all Bahamian citizens. That's, that's the bottom line. They're, they're, they're there to represent you and to promote the country and move the country forward. But we see them as a, as a group moving forward, but the rest of us are struggling to get ahead. More taxes. The biggest fight this morning is in the insurance situation, where you have, have to have a minimum of six months on your insurance policy in order to get your car licensed and registered. That's another issue. One month left on your car insurance. It's still valid today. You can still drive on the road today. They can't give you a ticket today. But now they're saying if you want to go and renew, you need six months or more. You got to go and see our friends over there on Blue Hill Road <laughs> and get some of that insurance with that trick bow. That's just the way it is. Guys, uh, join in the conversation, 323-6232, 325-4316, anywhere from the family of islands, 242-300-5720. Hit me up, 422-4796. Let me take this telephone call. Call on the line with this live. Go ahead. Hello. How you doing, Howard? Hey, hey, what's hey, up, what's Graham. up, Graham? <laughs> I believe I, I heard you, and good afternoon to your guest. I believe I heard your guest said just a few seconds ago, the average politician. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> I agree with him. You've had average politicians, and they say it'll get better for you and your family. But remember, they're only average. We need exceptional politicians. I said that. I like the that. after? Yes, I listen carefully. You know, um... Exceptional politicians, after 50 years, if they could, they would have. And if they could and did have a hospital, fix Grand Bahama. You know, I just got off talking to somebody just now. They said, Graham, is the port is the problem in Grand Bahama? I said, uh, no, the port is the problem in Freeport, bro. West End ain't in no port. Eight Mile Rock, that's in the port? See, you would have fixed all of that up. You would have put a world-class city over there. You'd have put a hospital in a couple of these major islands. You'd have built a capital in the, what you call the capital of mm -hmm. these major islands. Mm -hmm. You'd have fixed a road. Now, we got inverted speed bumps, and they, they work in pretty well. No one's speeding. You'd have had a 24-hour <laughs> day highway patrol. I'm glad you got that joke. You'd have had a 24-hour day highway patrol stopping the crime and the uh, speeding eggshells, I call them. And you would have said, listen, insurance companies, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure that you insure people from their birthday. In other words, on March, my insurance comes due in March. So when I go to get my license, I got a whole year because I'm from March to March. Just like you license your car. It's so simple. That's a fix you could do in a blink. But no, we rather give the people the distraction so they run them out instead of looking at inflation the price of gas, the price of food. And my God, after 50 years, why did you would have removed all tax off all food, especially the good, healthy, organic foods, eh? Mm -hmm. See? That's the most expensive, the Garth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you go get the tater chips and the white bread and all the garbage and soda. You get all that cheap shit. Get you sick. And, uh, well, we're, we're a couple doctors in government, so that might be a conflict of interest. Come see us. But, you, you know, look, the bottom line is they don't want you to have it, Brev. That's right. And I told you before, I reject that for you, Howard Grant. Remember I told you that before? You did say that. And that did touch your spirit? I reject that for you. And I rudely reject that. And until somebody presents himself saying anything like you just heard me say, including putting some solar in your house for free using the carbon credits that are now real, thanks to the Honorable uh, Philip Brave Davis saying so. You know, I waited for that for a decade. See, we want to hear that we're going to put together a manifesto. The people are. 
and we're going to wait to see if any of them accept our manifesto and implement it. That's what we can do. Don't bring us one. We can send you one. And if you're not willing to accept that as what you're going to do, then don't offer. Good show, guys. I like it, man. Thank you, man, Graham. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here live in full effect. The Foundation 96.9 FM radio. Quick commercial break. Be right back after this. The Foundation. Tired of banks forcing you to use technology to bank the way they want you to? Your convenience is important. So no matter what your banking needs, banks' friendly staff are always available in branch for that personal one-on-one service. But when you choose technology, our online and mobile banking app offers you state-of-the-art functionality. The choice is yours. Commonwealth Bank. Bank the way you want. The Grand Bahama News is available every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. You can buy your local paper at Freeport Convenience Stores, Western Bakery, DeGregory's Fine Foods, and Bellevue Gifts. Now is the time to reach your Grand Bahama market with affordable packages, including print and digital. Call GB News Sales Representative Kavandre at 822-6717 or message him on WhatsApp for ad rates. Classified ads are now available every Tuesday as well. Keep up with everything Grand Bahamian every Tuesday in the Nassau Guardian. Now let me see now. 326 E-P-I-C. Hello? Hello? This this epic, epic battery? This Miss Bueller from around the corner. I hear you all selling tires now on Wolf Road 2. Praise the Lord. It's about time. I live Fox Hill and Fire Trail. It's too far. That ain't all. They open Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. On Sunday and holiday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. My brother Sam, he's a hacker. And he could go right there and get fixed up. Call us at 326 Epic. We ship also to the family island. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio, Howard Grant and your company, The Foundation. Beautiful day. Grateful to be in your company today. I know that it's a little bit wet out there. I hope you guys are taking care and making sure everything is good. It is a great day to be in your company and uh, kind of chopping it down. 323-622-325-4316. 325-4259, anywhere for the Family of Islands, 242-300-5720. Hit me up, 422-4796. Live and in full effect, guys. We're here with none other than Goth Roseboro. Let me see if I can take a telephone call. Call her on the line with us live. Go ahead. Go ahead, call her. You're on with us live. Hey, thank you so very much. Good afternoon to both of you. Good afternoon, my brother. What's up? Afternoon. Oh, always good to hear you when you're on, Goth. Thank you, my friend. Hey. Garth, you, you mentioned this um, statement that I had a challenge with the gentleman who I believe first made it, saying that God lives in the Bahamas. <laughs> um, and, you know, I, I challenged him on that because I said, well, you know, because he wrote a bunch of blogs to me no more, and I kind of missed talking to him. Uh-huh. But I asked him point blank, I say, so the 300 years when the slaves were dragged out of Africa, was God a part of that, or, or he just started living here? Um, and how did that go? But, you know, I, he never got a chance to fully answer that because I think God picked him up in the cranes. Um, <laughs> but, you know, Minnis said that he wants to unite the FNM. Would you believe that he, in fact, actually did that by challenging Pintad? Because they actually saw the demon and they ran from him, which is a good thing. Now, I want him to continue to go after that course of uniting the FNM. Now, maybe you can both come up with some suggestions that Minis could actually incorporate in his movement from now on as to how can he further unite the FNM and how can Pintad unite the FNM and bring the PLP over because I believe that crime will drop dramatically if Pintad is in charge because he looks like the person who can make a big difference and he's not the kind of person who's running after Keith and deals, and at least not yet. I think 
that may come later. But if, <laughs> I'll hang up and listen to any ideas you may have that you can suggest to him. I, got a, I appreciate your telephone call. I got a couple for you. First thing I wanted to be able to touch is 300 years of slavery thing. I just got to touch it. Touch it? I got to be I got to be decent as possible. Decent. I don't understand why there is an expectation for everything to be superb in your life with God. If God reigns on the just and the unjust, if everything that we know, including the Big Bang Theory that excludes everything to do with faith, starts off in chaos, in this earth, in this realm that we live in, everything starts off in confusion and this kind of tumultuous state, and it grows and blossoms into wherever you are and wherever you're supposed to be. Why do we believe our lives are supposed to be so pristine and good if we have God? That tribulation should not befall us simply because we're protected by our faith. I, I think that's peculiar. That's, that's the way... That's peculiar to that's me. That's the way the average Christian rationalizes because... That is peculiar. Here, here, here's where the pain and suffering takes place before there comes the peace and the blessings of one's faith. It's a suffering to not be able to involve in a location. It's a suffering when you just can walk up and take something for free and go to the back door, even though it belongs to somebody else. It's suffering when you don't become jealous of your neighbor's wife or your neighbor's house. It's a suffering to just simply go and take one day out of the week just to give praise to God. Therefore, if I were to overcome these particular evils, then the, the, the result of that should just simply be blissfulness and blessings, and everything should be flowing my way because I sacrificed. Now, the average person is telling you they have a dark heart, but because they're now asking God to wash their heart whiter than snow, the result of whiter than snow should be copious blessings. That's what they're saying to you. But that don't even make no sense. No, it doesn't make sense in your Bible. It, no, no, in a Bible, it doesn't make sense in day-to-day -day life. It doesn't make sense. Why not? It, okay, so if you think back, no matter where your origin is, there has been tribulation at the beginning. No matter, where, no matter which point you go at, north, east, south, west, and you look at that avenue, there was the beginning, this was a tumultuous time. Okay, whether it was if you believe that this there was a big bang theory, that means that we had nothing that organisms. It doesn't matter what you believe. There, there was nothing. There was nothing. There was nothing. Uh -huh. You even evolved in a dark womb. There was nothing. You came from a place of nothing. How are you going into a wormhole? And you? only because of grace, many of us exist. Yeah, but you went into a dark hole, Howard. I wanted to be indecent just now. I just had an indecent thought in my mind. It just came. That's why I started laughing to you. You know what I call chaotic? When a man got sweetheart. You got to go all over time. All they remember the lies. In pursuit Pre of a slither of yeah. pleasure. Yeah. Pre <laughs> call this one. That ain't even real pleasure. <laughs> it's only perceived pleasure. Your prayer. Because if you get that woman pregnant, my God, you'll have more hell than you ever had before. Yeah, it so, don't make sense. But you got to pray to God. You got to pray to God that you don't talk in your sleep. All the things you got to go through, right? All your money gone from payday. You got to delete everything in your phone. You got to delete everything in your phone. Time. So you're doing all of this chaos, right? But honestly, if you were to ask the average male, especially between, let's say, the ages of 16 when they start to, let's say, when they're the full prime of 45, you know, what type of life would they like to honestly, one woman or two? And they can tell you, man, you need to have more than one. The average man. For what? That, because that's what they call joy. Joyfulness is when they can change up, go to this place. No, but that's what they call People love fun. chaos. Now, the, the, There's two different things. The, the joy of the Lord is my strength. That's joy. So, so let's talk about the... The fun of the devil is what can get you here. So that's talk, what you want. So let's talk about the joy of the Lord now. The joy of the Lord is that you got the one wife, you're a decent man, you're taking care of your wife, you're taking care of your family, but the woman always nagging all the time. And the Bible, same Bible say it's better to be on the rooftop in the pouring rain than in the house with this nagging woman. You only got one woman. You only got one family. You're always home. You're always waking. You're always engaged in something. The other fella that's saying he having fun, he gallivant. So, you know, it's all relative how is what I'm trying to say to you. Um, but the expectation of life. It, it only could be relative to the supremacy that you acknowledge. Now, if you don't have nothing that you acknowledge above you, that there's no God that you serve, that, and you pursue your pleasure, 
it, that's only relative to you. That means that your life ain't getting nowhere, that you ain't contributing to community, that you ain't contributing to legacy, that you are in pursuit and you are insatiable, your desire, just to be able to feed that pleasure inside so of what you. So what do we say as about useless as we, a human being. So what do we say in behavior politics? We look at it for who? Friends, family, and what? Lovers. But that don't make a difference. But that's why the country probably ain't These going nowhere. These are useless people. Yeah, but they ain't going nowhere. If your relentless pursuit <laughs> in a leadership position is to be able to fill the coffers of your of your unending pleasure yeah, and happens. your desire that is unquenchable, then you should die. Not in a bad way. I'm going to be decent about it. Somebody need to call you are in. Indecent. Somebody need to call in and tell how how this thing work. Because the minute people get into no, politics, ain't if they, no one can tell me how they it works. Because ain't never, none of us been on another if, side yet. If they if they never had tweet out before, get out. For what? Because they can afford I it. don't want... Listen to me. You know what You know how much stress she's get from one woman? Now multiply that. But how would the people change? And then on top of the multiplication, you now have to keep a secret. You got to... Br- you getting all this sweetheart is, especially if you have respect as an honorable human being, all sweetheart is is that you got to pay somebody every day. They bribing you. Okay. They are bribing you to keep your secret. Yeah. And you assume that there's pleasure what you're getting from that. So, so, so to this get, is confusing so, to me. So, so, so to come back without running out, like maybe would say to, to what I really want to point to to you, the newspaper, The Guardian, I hope everyone got a copy of The Guardian today. Um, we, we're at Howard Grant on the foundation here at 96.9 FM. Uh, Howard, it, it's full of things that the government is attempting to do, but it doesn't seem to me as if the people are are uh, in line with what is happening. They're not excited about what is happening. There's no feeling of progression as to what is happening. There's no fulfillment as to what is happening. But we can very well see that our uh, members of parliament, they seemingly appear to be well, happy, ex- and they're, they're doing some things, living their lives, living a lavish lifestyle. And so I think there's a, a disconnect that happens when someone goes into parliament and they no longer reach out to the Bahamian people and find out what they truly desire or what truly would get the Bahamian people to a point where they can be satisfied. Should we sit back and wait for somebody to come and tell us what they can do? Well, they came to us with a vision. They said they had a vision, they had a plan. Um, For for some reason... I told you before, the Bahamian people, everyone has their plan. The FNM has their plan. Their plan, step one, get rid of minutes. That was the plan. Okay. They got rid of minutes. Uh That's step two. Step two, they won't be... Prime Minister, they won't be able to lead, lead the country. They move okay. it towards step two. Okay. You heard it in Pintard's speech. Everyone has a plan from a political standpoint. The only people don't have a plan is the Bahamian people. You believe that Bahamian people should now sit back and wait for somebody to come to them and say, I have an idea. What do you think about this? But, oh my God, that's a good idea. But that's our, that's our culture for the most part. Because like I said, you, we want Jesus to bring it to us. So we're waiting for the politicians to bring it like to that. us. My God, and then, and then I when, never when, see a flying spoon yet, but you eat. Yeah, but I never see a flying spoon. Spoon don't pick up food by itself and put it in your mouth. But how are you waiting for somebody to feed you? But this is what we do. No, that can't be what this we is do. why every five this years is, that is an illiterate this thing. This is why every five years the spoon it, it miraculously flies. You never saw that flying spoon every five years. Every five years the fork, the spoon, and the knife is be flying. The bottle. And the chicken on the grill is be flying every five years. And many people, they love it. They love that miracle. This one should be written That's in the Bible. A it's a miracle for them. That's manipulation. Because the day after election, the spoon stop flying, the fork stop flying, the knife stop, stop flying, and the chicken don't even fly no more. The wing's gone. The only time I ever see spoon clean itself was when I watched Mickey Mouse in that wizard thing. That's it. I didn't know, Joe. I never see that, these that things happen the before. The spoon is clean itself in the treasury. My God, let me take this telephone call. <laughs> Caller, go ahead. <laughs> Caller, go ahead. Hello, hello. Hey. Good afternoon, God. Good afternoon, Howard. Same, you know, Howard, uh, firstly, with the Big Bang Theory, right? Hey, God, you're trying to forget God now because you believe in the biogenesis, but through God, all things are possible. And so, to the text who's saying God lives in the Bahamas, I mean, he, he lives within me and you. Yes. And the latest of Lord's. Uh-huh. Like, we went with these the common uh, narratives that people really don't dwell into, but as it relates to what Graham is saying, right? And everybody's talking about unifying the FNM and the PLB. But I mean, the real power lies in unifying the mindless masses, right? And then, so I listened to these conversations. Mm-hmm. And there, was an, there was something circulating on WhatsApp. I don't know if you guys saw it. There was a young gentleman from Exuma. You know, I don't know. He, he, he looks effeminated, but he was talking about a, a particular MP coming around campaigning in Exuma. 
Mm-hmm. And he was saying, don't come this door. And he started to say what he had to say. And this is a sitting MP? Yes. He okay. said he was an exhumer. He said he was, he was pushed by a bodyguard or an assistant of the MP. I didn't and see The that. young gentleman said on Facebook he was pushed because he was kind of rude to the MP coming to the door on his property where he lived. So uh-huh. I don't know what kind of model that is, right? But it should have been me, you see? Where I live, because what happens is with that type of attitude <laughs> and the audacity, I, I, I personally, I don't, I, I don't know if it's true, uh-huh. because, because, because I, I can't see, uh, a, a, I, the, I mean, I, I know the, the, the politician is much sensitive, but the, the person to do that, that means he, he is actually a robotized, dangerous goon, and so what happens is the power is not in the people, because the people are hungry, like God saying that you saying this, God saying that this spoon and the chicken and stuff flying after the election, right? So this is what the guy was saying. They come around during the election, hoping not for a rejection. But what I'm saying is, once the Bahamian people don't realize the power in the people, you know, the slogan back in the 60s and 70s, God should know, but that power to the people, right? Mm-hmm. There's no power to the people because it is designed that way. And so all of these, all right, the, the white people that you, you know, some, for some reason, the Negro has become very passive and docile. I don't know if it's vanity or snobbery and just uh, just living this hedonistic type lifestyle. But in Europe, the other day when you when they pass the uh, when they when they carry when they try to carry up the the uh, retirement age, right, 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 Howard, you remember that? Mm-hmm. All right, you saw uh, the white people in France started to throw fire bombs and they reacted, right? All the time, they don't waste yeah. time for that. But you, you, in, in the third world, you say you're supposed to be civil, but these people would did it. And so they actually had to come together and show the government, to the government, listen, but what I'm saying, I'm not calling for that here, but what I'm saying is once we don't gather in masses, these people will continue to treat us with, with, with rhyme like masses, okay? And that's just the way it is. And we could sit and talk and walk and do what we want, but we have to draw attention to our dilemmas because I realize even in Michael Pintard's speech, who I respect, the speech covered a lot. And so one of the things that he said that other callers and people were saying for, for, for a little while on the radio, but nobody listens, but when he said it, it, he was allowed to say it, right? And there's actual evidence that these things are happening. So, you know, base. And uh, like I keep saying, a nation of sheep has inherited a government of wolves. And this is what we have now, a government of wolves. Maybe. You see where there's no accountability with anything, man. And then you can't speak out. I wonder if I should go to the embassy because I, I feel like you, you, there's an unfreedom of the press. As somebody called and spoke about the trial of Dr. Fauci, the testimony of Dr. Fauci before some... Uh, could I could I ask a question with Howard's permission? Yes, sir. Uh, a woman, she's not Bahamian, she's nationalized, can have a baby in January. By the end of October, November, she has a second baby. By the following year, around July, she got another baby. July, August, got another baby. Yes. The following year, Say around March, April, she got another baby, and then the following February, she got another baby, and then another one by October, this is November. Trying to kill this woman? What you right? talking about? I, I, I no, no, you, 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 you follow him. You follow my trend so far. This woman can die. Now, now oh, this oh, this oh, woman, this woman who is now a manufacturer of life, okay, um, she's producing these children. You spoke about the passive nature that we now possess in our country. We saw a video recently circulating on social media of some of these mildly beating on other people. And you're producing a more aggressive natured skin color that I now have. How long would you prophesy and tell us on the air before our nation changes to this type of behavior? Yeah, you, you uh, I, 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 I don't want to, I'm not a suit say, you know, I, I try to speak truth, so if I end up suit saying, that's just, just the way it is. But what I'm saying is if, if those fathers are bohemians, then those children should be bohemians. But what I'm saying is we as a people, we, as it relates to migration in any which event, what Michael was said as it relates to immigration and uh, whistleblowers being targeted, that, that, that exists, okay? But what I'm saying is we, we must realize as a people when it comes to immigration, we, 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 we must counteract the reverse psychology of oh. the xenophobic narrative because it doesn't pan out. If, if we are xenophobic, why is it that so much of them are here? And if we, if we all came here on the same boat, or from the, basically, not everybody came from the same part of Africa, but there's a diverse, mostly western part of Africa, whether it be north or south, we, we, we still, if we come here on the same boat, why do we, why, why is there this hate? So the white man, the, the colonialism, has kept an entrenched hatred amongst the diaspora. So if we, if we hate ourselves, 
and don't respect one another, and the Haitians should respect us too. So then what happens is you, they have succeeded in creating a, uh, a, 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 a dilemma that is reverberating up to this day. And that means we are fools. So it's only right. reverberation that exists up to this day. Yeah, but they have succeeded because we, we still hate one another. We, 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 we still brag about so that you speak. That I, all of them still you can teach us some African language and try to unify us, man. That's what I'm saying. They don't come, but they're overwhelming our country. They are, it, why can't we charge them for paying for our education? Why can't we? We're we just allowing people to come here and sit and talk with xenophobic. Can you help people, a professional coming ready with demons that xenophobic? That narrative doesn't pan out. And well, we don't want looking for a handout. Bless them. I appreciate you, man. Well, I, I want to know whether or not uh, this is neocolonialism at work because the reverberation cannot still have an anchor on us. The reverberation had to go through the filter of generations for it to still be able to remain potent. How can it still be potent? How? How can the echo of years past still be able to be relevant in this time? That's absolutely, in my view, it's impossible. Unless there is a perpetuation and a sustaining of that particular mindset by, neo by a neo-colonialism mindset. And them, them people ain't white. They black like me and you. They in the House of Assembly and seeking leadership positions now. How do we fix that? Let's take this quick commercial break and get back after news. This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. Looking for a breakfast that will wake up your taste buds and kickstart your day? Well, Burger King Nassau has got you covered with the new Angry Chris Sandwich. Made with fluffy eggs, melted cheese, jalapenos, a spicy sauce, and your choice of ham, sausage, or bacon on a warm croissant. Make it a combo and add our signature hash browns and your choice of coffee, tea, or orange juice for a great way to start your day. Spice up your breakfast with the new Angry Chris Sandwich combo only at Burger King Nassau. <laughs> Great news! Ron's Electric Motors' new location on Cowpen Road, right next to Island Luck, is open Saturdays and Sundays. So for those needing repairs on electric motors, generators, welding machines, water pumps, battery charges, electric lifts, transformers, and power tools, Ron's Cowpen Road location can have you up and running on weekends. Don't forget, you can still visit Ron's Electric Motors on Wolf Road and Claridge Road, and now Ron's new location on Cowpen Road. Dial 356-0249 or 323 Bahamas Liquidation and Auction Center, your friendly and affordable vendor one-stop shop, where you can get all of your groceries, kids' lunch snacks, and vendor snacks items at the best prices in town. Don't believe us? Find us on Market Street in the red, white, and black building south of Chesapeake Road. We don't stock anything. We just buy deals. So you better get there first. Call us today at 6980123 or what's up 557-2522 or follow us on Facebook and Instagram for daily updates. Remember, always make us your first stop. Do you have uncontrollable debt? Are you ready to fidelity for a stress-free future? These loans have a built-in savings plan that pays you unbeatable interest. Ask about our debt consolidation loans today. Call 356-7764. Fidelity, we're good for you. Stay informed with the NASA Guard in your news delivered. Are you tired of chasing down the latest news? Why not have it delivered right to your doorstep? The NASA Guardian is now offering an unbeatable home delivery service. Special subscription rates. Three months, just $44.80. Six months, only $79.52. One year, an amazing value at $143.36. Your daily news fix all year round. Don't miss out on this opportunity to keep up with the latest in local and international news, sports, business, and entertainment. Subscribe today. Call us at 302-2360 or 302-2353. Our friendly staff is waiting to assist you with your subscription. The Nassau Guardian, we've got the news you need. Don't wait. Call now and let us bring the world to your door. Foundation. Foundation. The 
And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio. Howard Grant in your company, the foundation live and in full effect. The lines are wide open. Please be a part of it. 323-6232. 325-4316-325-4259. Anywhere for the Family of Islands, 242-300-5720. Or hit me up, 422-4796. It has been a significant ride over the past few weeks to be able to identify um, leadership in the free national movement. We have not been able to really assess and dive deep into those things and talk about that. But I think um, um, it is what it is. Uh, in, the, in the great words of former Prime Minister Perry Christie, it is what it is <laughs> at this time, and we can see that, right? Um, um, and in those uh, immortal words uh, uttered by former Prime Minister <laughs> Ingram, uh, it's going to be one and done, eh? One and done. <laughs> mm. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, sir. Ladies, I'm sitting here with, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sitting here with none other than Garth Roseboro. Uh, when you make this sort of a declaration that you are political supremacy beyond your time, beyond your political collateral, beyond your talent, beyond your political experience, and beyond the reach of your political tentacles, you get cut down. Yeah. We've seen that every time in this country. Yeah. When you make this declaration and ever yield to yesteryear, and that's important, that's important. <laughs> that you always acknowledge, yield, and provide opportunities to those that afforded, that, that paved the way for you to be able to get here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I stand on the shoulders of the men and women that afforded me an opportunity to get in this particular space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's, that should not only be public pleasantries. That should not only be where you provide this sort of a discourse when you get into a space uh, from a political standpoint where the masses can hear you. That should be in quiet also. I, I see something very deliberate that took place in the convention. I want the Miami people to keep their eye on this particular situation because you're finding out in your lifetime, Howard. I, I put my hand on my head because I, I think I know what you're talking about. But go ahead. I'm going to hear it. Are you thinking? I'm, no, no, no. Oh, I was there. Are you thinking? No, but you know I was there. You like to go. You're deliberate because... The outcome says to me that, according to the demigod of politics in the Bahamas, this is the outcome that was going to be. There's a Hercules here? Yeah, there's a Hercules. It was a puppet master. You said it. You said it. You said it. Ventriloquist, I you, guess. Yeah, you did. So we, we got to keep our memories going, right? I said it. So he was at work. And we, we mentioned that he was working. Of course. Now, I want you to look at his demeanor. I said yesterday, this is the first time that he campaigned. He or the body collective campaigned from 1992. Look at his body language, though. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I heard you. The body language of last year and the body language of the up to the convention, the energy that came from him was not an energy that was over 60 years of age. He had the energy of a 30-year-old. He was very deliberate. And so in his being deliberate, is this also saying to me that there is a plan amiss to win the 2026 election for the free national movement? That's the whole plan, sir. I told you, the FNM have a plan, the PLP have a plan, the only people who doesn't have a plan is the Bahamian people. Mm -hmm. I've said that and I will continue to repeat that. So We are seeing play out right before us. Watch me. Right before us, uh, former Prime Minister Ingram came and said, uh, let's get in early and let's put that thing to bed. Boom. Everyone got in early. They put it to bed. Three to one, Prime Minister, uh, former Prime Minister uh, um, uh, Minnis, Dr. Minnis, if mm -hmm. I believe that it is safe for us to be able to say that his political career has come to an end. I believe it is safe for us to say that. Leadership-wise, maybe. But listen. He may run again, independently or as a member of the That FNM. don't make no sense. Unity says that I'm not that going to. That don't make no sense. Unity says I'm not going to exile him. I'm going to allow him to remain because he said he would remain. No, Unity says here is the rope. That's what Unity says. Here is the rope. We could help you by being able to tie the noose. Here is the rope. Now, 
No. We ain't gonna do everything. That is what is happening, sir. No, no, no. His no. political career, the only thing he has to do to retain the honorability in his particular posture is to come out, talk about his books, remind persons, and thank them for the opp opportunity that, that exists in there. The only way that he could have saved himself politically. Michael Pinter the only spoke way as if he was inclusive of all. And that's Michael Pinter's responsibility. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. To that you. is his absolute but responsibility. Are you, are you saying the honorable? The honorable men who are called politicians are saying one thing and doing yet another. No, no, listen. No, no, I, I, we, we just discussed that just, what, half an hour ago, 45 minutes ago. Michael Pintard said he Michael is inclusive. Michael Pintard wants to that, be the prime minister okay, of he's, this he's, he's already dealt with that. He's now the leader, he's the, the potential leader. prime minister. He still has to go towards becoming the prime minister. Dr. The, Minnis is still in the House of Assembly. Yes. Okay. Yes. Michael Pintard forged significant relationships under the speculation that, oh, maybe Crazy uh, supports uh, Minis, or maybe Iram supports Miz. And then at the very end of it all, what you saw, what did you see? I saw him supporting Pintard. One hundred percent. And guess what? I'm saying now, it's also possible that Minis may give Pintard a call on the phone and say, "Hey, buddy, uh, we can work this out, and I support you too." But his support has only going to be the exact same support that he's offered over the past two years, three years. That's okay. It's going to be the exact same support. The question really is, could he win Kalani again? That's not the question, sir. It is a question because that's one seat out of 39. Members of his Kalani that? association called him and supported Pintot. You need to understand what's happening here. I though. understand that. But uh, supporting Pintot for leadership means that I'm not supporting Minis for the member of parliament. That's what I'm that is exactly you. what it what it states. That is exactly what it says. So the, we're gonna have a new candidate for the FNM in Kalani. That's what you're trying to tell me. Have you not heard the speculations? No. You haven't? No, I live on the other side of town. But sir, I took you with me. I saw them. But I don't want to believe them. You speak of honorability. My God, if a man I speak show of you who they are. Why are you fighting them? I fight you because then I saw another uh, media personality come there. Walking around with a cane under his arm, I ain't calling no name. But I, he was wearing the colors, but looked like he wasn't getting no friends. And they threw him out. So is this the spirit of unity? Are we talking about unstoppable change? I'm just asking the question, man. It's right in front of your eyes. Because we're saying one thing, I'm asking you again, are we going to believe it? Or should we believe it? Here's, the, the man just said he believes that under Michael Pintar, the leader of the FNM, that crime is going to decrease. Did he not just say that on the air? He just said that. Okay, then. so the people are now believing in Michael Pintard. They are believing in Michael Pintard now because they can no longer believe in Brave Davis. So if you don't believe in Brave Davis and you don't want us to believe in Michael Pintard, who we can believe in? You can't believe in Menace, so we can believe in Papa. And if Papa is the ventriloquist, then is that who we're listening to now? I'm just asking a question. I'm only asking because Perry Christie's out. I think it's gardening or something like that in the backyard. So what do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? These men, as long as they exist and they're in their right mind, even if they don't have the strength, but they still have the political mind to be able to execute certain things and they can provide you a story, they will always be relevant in politics. Always. They're relevant. So who are we going to listen to? Our always. Who is the main people going to listen to? You don't know who you're listening to. Who don't know who they listen to? None of us. I listen to the foundation with Howard Grant. None of us know who we listen listening to. I listen to you. So tell me now who they're going to be listening to. Let's make, we'll make a determination based upon, <laughs> based upon the fruits that we see. Once we see their fruits, we know exactly it who is, this is. It is interesting, though, uh, Mr. Howard Grant. We, we, had, we had a talk with one Cassius Stewart, who was the leader of the Bahamas Democratic Party. Is it party or movement? Party movement, party? BDM. Or BDM uh, movement. And he, he sat with you on the air. And he said that he's on board with the Free National Movement because he believed it was a spiritual move. That, that's the word that he used, a spiritual move. I don't know if that was... That it's bigger than Pintard. That's bigger than Pintard. That's what he says. And did he, did he remove himself from leadership based on a convention for the BDM or did he just decide that if I go in with the FNM, everybody go with the FNM for the BDM? No one... He didn't say that his organization went with him. It was only him. He said he. So I want to see who's the new leader of the BDM then. We don't even know that that exists. <laughs> so he we know we know all the leaders of the Free National, um, all the leaders of the Democratic National Alliance have aligned themselves with the Free National Movement. Omar Smith was there. Omar Smith was there. 
Branville went with Minnis. Branville went with Minnis. I mean, he's still there with the FNM. Koma Laffey went with Pintar. But he was right there in the FNM. And so is there DNA? No. I heard there is. Someone told me, uh, our friend Jeff, you could call Sir, and tell if us. you have to hear that the, Jeff called when Branville was on the radio. Call and spoke to Branville and said, Branville, Branville, wherever you go, I will follow. Jeff, Jeff called Delvo, and said, our friend, you was our brother. The, you sit right here when he said that. I must have had something in my ear. I missed that. Jeff, call me back right now. Let me take the telephone call. Caller, go ahead. Um, Howard. Hi. I'm your co-host. Um, um, so you're trying to say now, probably get the last laugh on his pupil or sidekick minutes. Uh, so what do you think? You think? Well, he's still he, laughing. Should, should I bite my tongue and cheek when I say this? Absolutely, everybody can see. Can we not see what happened? Yes, Papa was. Listen, we don't see uh, Hubert Ingram hey, unless hey, and until. No, no gray on him. Papa was back to you yourself. Listen. Now he could be this now. He could be, he could be, I think Pitta's going to depend on him for wise counseling. Like men are shut off. <laughs> so he, that's what Pitta's going to depend on him. I like to be used. I mean, like to want to be used. Could you find, like I, find another word than depend? Yeah, yeah, yes. Find another word than depend, though. Just to be Listen. in that party. <laughs> I, 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 I Before Papa, definitely was white skin or light skin, high class Negroes. The grassroots belong to the PLP. But when I see Papa jump ship because Pillar wouldn't go. I mean, that's. I, I think millennial, that's life. Now, Pillar have to chop down minutes. Because if, if Pillar can chop down seven MPs, white, you don't have to do nothing with minutes. No that that, that, that told me leadership. He's been disloyal, he's been disruptive, he never, like, he, he's got to go. Even if they lose that seat, or oh, take, take, take it from him. Let him run independent. That was, that was show you are you the leader. That you doesn't, make, leader. That doesn't make sense. That diminishes his legacy and the things that he would have done independently. It shows that his pursuit for power, for uh, this kind of the individual view that he is uh, supreme and he is God, that it's... It, it's it, it supersedes his desire to be able to help people. If Minis does anything from a political standpoint, again, he will diminish what he has done for the people. He will diminish the value of not only the 163 people that voted for him in the council, but the many people out here that support him. So Minis doesn't need to make another political so you're move. Saying that he doesn't need to make another political move. He has a rich legacy. And there's nothing, and the, the annals of time and history would state that he has done a tremendous amount for the Bahamian people. So, but okay. time going to have to do that. Okay. Time so, going to have to tell so, us that. Not so, now. So Okay, so because currently, where does he stand out of the five prime ministers? Currently, based upon what's charged in the environment, he's as uh, the Dark Vader okay. of politics. <laughs> he's viewed as the villain. So what He's is, viewed as the worst politician. So what is Brave Davis viewed as right now, Howard Grant? There's no view. No view? No. You, they, there's, he's still coming to light. You told, he's still trying to be able to make his bones. I told you that the prime minister, is. there's two con, uh, campaigns concurrent. He is more interested in being able to uh, solidify his view in an international arena as it relates to being able to be a champion for, for climate change, a champion for those particular happening from a global perspective than being able to be the champion of the grassroots, the champion of the PLP here locally. He's running two campaigns, and you, you can't be two places at the same time. You can't. But he prefers to be out there. You can't. There. He prefers to be out in though. You can't. And I'm not going to be one of these people that say that he's always traveling. I'm simply saying to you that I've recognized that his focus and his articulation, his strength, his posture, his you, he could feel his strength when he's coming to life, when he's speaking about climate change outside of the Bahamas. So let me ask you a question then, since you want to talk like that. I could talk indecently now. I'm not going to fight you. If the international world is one woman and the Bahamian people is another woman, which woman are you treating better right now? He wants Ra he wants Rachel, he which wants is the second the, one. Which is the international one. We here locally, we're he, giving him children he don't want day Leah. after day. He don't want Leah. The, the Bahamas is Leah. Leah giving you ten children. But we may be cockeye. Not in a bad way. Yeah, we 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 we, we say ten to eye. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, but you know Rachel is she was easy upon the she, eyes. She was comely. She was beautiful. This is what the she, word of God says. Yeah, she was gorgeous. And she was worth 14 he, years. And he's willing to execute those 14 years. He, but the people can give him 14 years to yeah. do that foolishness? To make us look bad? I don't know. I don't know. Which means you ain't know. I don't know. And Papa back. Sir, I didn't say Papa's back. You didn't say that? You say he laughing? He had an objective. He laughing. 
You can't stain people's name. You can't push them aside and expect them to stand strong and just accept that. That doesn't happen. This is what I'm saying to you. That doesn't happen. And Papa's I laughing. I told you. I told you. Over 30 years, Hubert Alex, 32 years. Uh-huh. No, let's be decent. 42 years. Hubert Alexander Ingram has been collecting political collateral that men in this country who had talent, exposure, and experience came to him and put their sack of talent by his feet and said, well, Papa, I ain't using that, but if you use me, you can have that. <laughs> Howard Grant. Men listening to me right now, Howard Grant is and they, they, they never imagined that they gave their talents to Hubert Ingram, but that is what they have done over the years. Hubert Ingram would call them two generations later, a generation later after something that has happened in 1982, and they still feel obligated to do as he says. How would I like You know that? why? I like it. You know why? I like the conversation. Because that's his posture. That's who he is. I like the conversation, Howard. This is who he is. I'm not going to fight him. Let's see what one of your callers is saying. But I'm I, not going to fight him. But I, I love that. I love that. I love that. Listen to me. I love that. Listen to me. Men in uh-huh. this country that we know and hold in significant political and social esteem as leaders have rendered their talents to the feet of Hubert Ingram for generations. Like this it. is what they've done. I like the conversation. This is what they've done. I like it. Okay? When Hubert Ingram calls upon them, they have no other choice but to fall in line. Well, I told you at the beginning of this conversation, there has not been autonomy in the political divide in this country for a very long time, in the PLP and in the FNM. One call us all. <laughs> the PLP has more of a fight because Christy can't call nobody and say nothing other than his people. Remember, there was a fraction in the organization. We remember. But Hubert Ingram, for the Free National Movement, still relents and continues to be able mm-hmm. to hold close this autonomy. He has the strength. But you know why that's dangerous before you take your caller? You know why that's dangerous? It's dangerous because the PLP, like you said, has a, a, a wider bench. The, the Free National Movement has no bench. Excuse me, sir. Let's just be very clear about something. I want to say this to you, okay? Uh-huh. Hubert Ingram sits in the precipice, in the crux, right in the center of it all from a political standpoint. Okay, he, okay, let's, let's do this. Um, Kai, out of Abaco, took a video one time and said, I hear you advising the PLP. And he said, no, 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 the talent that exists, and he has the rich history of knowing how politics runs in this country and in the region to be able to strategically put things in place to see forward movement in the he country. He is a political mastermind. When, when gotcha. Michael Pintard is taking on this posture to say that he wants to see the country move to 4%, he can't do that without the experience of understanding how things run in the region. That means, of course, he has to be able to yield to the advice and the advisory council of the Free National Movement, where Hubert Ingram could provide you that information. We have already heard, we have already heard, leading up to the by-election, remember this, when we were saying we shouldn't, I said if Hubert Ingram was, remember I told you this, I said if Hubert Ingram was in the position of the Free National right now, he wouldn't run a candidate in West Grand Bahama. I told you this. And then the newspaper showed us that he's had a quiet conversation that seemed to be released to the council and came to the, to the public. Mm-hmm. That he would have said these things. He never said it out of his mouth. Mm-hmm. But this is the information that came to us. It says to me that Michael Pintard is sharp enough to be able to take the advice he is. of a man like Hubert Ingram. He, he is. He Hubert is. Ingram it. is a genius at this. I saw it. I saw it with my own eyes. Listen, Hubert Ingram is a genius at this. Yeah. So what Michael Pintard has now done in his youth is laid his collateral at the feet of Hubert Ingram. That's what you're saying. Michael Pintard, before we knew him, even as a poet, I told you and I told, I continue to tell people, when I saw Shivago and Michael Pintard as a young person, I knew I had to do more as a young person. Because if people like Hubert Ingram, who the entire country held in high esteem, listen, I didn't even know Hubert Ingram, but I knew that he was a great and powerful man. Let me tell you why. Because as I sat in 8 Mile Rock and my mother freaked out, that the FNM won. I wanted to know who was the leader of the FNM as a young boy, 13 years old. I was a little boy. Mm-hmm. And I got interested in politics because of my mother's interest. 
So now that you're interested, your mother made it in politics as well. Um, she, she was a great lady in politics, one of the few ladies that we had. Um, how would Grant you next? You're doing a lot. Let me take a telephone call. Call her on the line. You're still interested, eh? I saw I, them I reach don't. out to you. Know? They reach out to you. I saw that. They always reaching out to me and talking. Are you available? This is what I do. Call her on the line with us live. Go ahead. Hey, Howard, Brad, how are you? I'm good, man. What's happening? And to God, Rose Burrow, my good friend. Hey, my brother. Now listen, you got to have plenty of money to call this show, boy, because you always keep these cell callers all along. Praise God. You Use rich. the toll-free <laughs> number, man. That's how we get a toll-free any, number. Hey, anyhow, listen, I only call to uh, congratulate Penn Todd um, Absolutely. on the victory and everything. Congratulations to him. But um, I call to also congratulate the platinum prime minister, Philip Brave Davis, on his victory in 2026. <laughs> you know, um, because I want you to know, Howard, I hear you and God in there. I hear you all very well. But I want you to know that the Bahamian people, the mistake that they made with Christie, remember when Christie had the economy singing at peak? People had three and four jobs. People were able to buy three and four cars and drive up and down, and they were living good. The economy was singing at its peak. And the angry vehemence who did not get one or two personal things that they wanted decided Bradley, to vote that I out. No, I they, no, voted I, Chris, they voted Christie out when he had this economy on its peak. Brad, I had, no, what? I had no job from Christie. <laughs> and guess what? Hold on now. Hold on. And guess what? Ingram came right back in and wrecked the economy. I mean, break it. I mean, he had the parties of his life. Okay. And run the economy because right of the road. The because of the roads in 2012 to 2000 uh, and from from. Um, no, it wasn't because of the roads. From 2007 to 2012, it was, it was because. Say again. From 2007 to 2012, you you blame the wrecking, quote unquote, wrecking of the Bahamian economy on the development of the roads. But listen to me. That isn't the first time. Every time. The PLP builds the economy and puts money in the treasury. What did they Perry lose, Christie do from 2002? And the FNM comes in and, 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 and spend up all the money. What did Perry Christie do in his capacity didn't from Menace 2002? Just, didn't, didn't, Menace just, didn't Menace just do the same thing? Didn't Menace just do the same no, thing? No, but I'm, let me ask you this question. Broken. Now, Brave David is building the economy again. You think the Bahamian people are going to no. make that mistake? no. No, no, that is not how the economy is set up. We are a part of a global system. We, just like the ebbs and flows and the ups and downs of what happened around the world, we are the recipients of movement, the currency that happens around the world from 2002 to 2007, the world was in a better place. In 2004, the economy started to tilt. In 2004, can I, can I the question? economy started to tilt. Can In 2007, there was two so hurricanes. So, Mr. Grant, you are saying that the only time the world is in a better place is when the PLP is in power then. That's no. what you're saying there. Okay, so let's do this. <laughs> okay, so, so no, 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 let's do this. Let's oh. do this. When was the housing uh, uh, bubble? When did the housing bubble pop in the United States of America? Two, um, 2008. Yeah. Okay. 2008. Okay. okay. The hotel was open in Grand Bahama when? In 2002, who set up okay. that uh, that agreement? Who set that up? Come well, on, man. Hubert Ingram. Okay, come on. Let's, 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 let's go. Let's move now. Let's move. Listen, now, after this let thing, me, let me, let me give, let I could go. Me. I could do this all let day. Me, you know? Let me give you this because I believe you have some other sales that I want to get over. Let me give you this. 2002, Ingram was a superb prime minister. He was excellent in 2002. From that point on, he hit rock bottom. So I, I, so I accept your point that the only time the world's economy do, does good is when the PLP is in power. I accept that point. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Grant. I'm going to fight you. That. I appreciate your telephone call, my brother. I'm not going to fight you. I'm going to be as decent as possible. Now let's look at this and be clear. Stop believing that the Bahamas is a, is a silo unto itself, that we are, a, we are an island of nation, but we're not an island. Oh. We're still connected to the world. Can I, can I? In 1992, the world was booming. The Western world was booming in 1992 with the introduction of the internet, with the introduction of Microsoft, with the introduction of all these particular things. Things were happening significantly. They make a whole white man black in the person of Bill Clinton and call him the first black president. The world was booming. He didn't have nothing to do in the White House 
he had to go look for Monaco. Mm -hmm. This is what was happening in 1992. In 1997, the world stood was on a high. Significant things was happening. Industry was moving. Things was happening all over the place. This was a time where you saw even black people with FUBU for us, by us, being able to make significant dollars. Okay? And in 2002, this was at the end of that. This is right after Y2K. When the whole, everybody thought, oh, Jesus, the world can come to an end. Jesus is coming. All these things can happen. The computers are not prepared to go into the, to, to 2021. Come on, man. Stop playing like we forget these things. We do not forget these things. The FNM has been the architects over the past 40 years in this country to be able to put the framework for growth in this country. And the PLP has been the recipients thereof. And I can prove that to you. Quick commercial break. Be right back after this. The foundation. The fa Applying for a mortgage but don't know where to start? Use these tips to speed up the process. First, visit your bank and get pre-qualified. This is an assessment of your ability to repay. To get pre-qualified, carry a passport, a recent pay stub or verification. If self-employed, two months bank statements and a bank reference letter. Ask questions. Is there an application or commitment fee? What will the interest rate be? Are there any closing costs or prepayment penalties? Get smart. Get money smart at Bahamas.com. You try to rest, the road with the best. For all your printing needs, there ain't no one better, no. For posters and binders, magazines and flyers. For window decals, reading cards and newsletters. No job too big and there's no job too small. You name it, we can print it. Just give us a call. Let print masters bring your masterpiece to life. Located in the Nassau Guardian Building, telephone 3022361. Here's to the go-getters, the early risers, and the late-night dreamers. You, the visionaries, painting futures in your mind, in your studio, your office, your sacred space. Here's to the adventurers, explorers of every realm. To you, the innovators, turning the cogs of progress in a world where connection is a lifeline, a pathway to possibilities. Alive is the perfect connection for everyone, every lifestyle. Every day. Visit BeAlive.com today. Now let me see now. 326 EPIC. Hello? Hello? This this epic? E epic battery? This Miss Bueller from around the corner. I hear you are selling tires now on Wolf Road 2. Praise the Lord. It's about time. I live Fox Hill and Fire Trail. It's too far. That ain't all. They open Monday to Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. On Sunday and holiday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. My brother Sam, he's a hacker. And he could go right there and get fixed up. Call us at 326-EPIC. We ship also to the family island. This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Foundation. The foundation. The foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, live and in full effect here on the foundation, being able to chop these things down. Let me see if I can read a few of these texts. Um, um but this is how it, it was Y2K 2000 when people were sewing so was uh sewing fair about what would happen. With the computers. Come on, man. I see. I just won't be decent as I say these things. Yes, I am a young mm -hmm. man, but I told you I took a keen interest in what was happening around me as a result of what I saw in Michael Pintard and in uh, a Chivago Lang and in the Free National Movement. I took a keen interest in being able to, you know, my, dad, my daddy worked at Freeport News for years. At one point, he said, you need to start to read the papers. And he used to bring the paper home every day. Right now, this is in Grand Bahama. The paper don't come out until the evening, so they print it in the morning. They print everything out. Five o'clock, the paper come out during this particular time. Daddy came home, and the paper was there. Right, I always used to go to the comic sections and so forth and so on. At one point in my life, I started to read the horoscope. Right when I was very young. Right, and then as I grew up and grew older, I realized that this is you shouldn't get into these particular things. But this is the section that I was in in the paper for years until I start reading the letter to the editor, the classifieds, the this, the that, and all these particular things, just getting involved in social things and absorbing this information. I have not forgotten these things. 
I measure things in my life based upon the time that I was. There was this young girl who used to like me. She was two, three grades behind me, right? She was in class with my brother. She was my brother's friend. And she used to call our house to speak to my brother and ask him to give me the phone. Give Howard the phone, please. You see why you don't have to lie? Not so I can be honest. I can tell you the truth. They, they calling you. Yeah, they can call me. Other, other, fellas, call other me. fellas had to call the gal, but these gals calling you. They had to call me. This me, baby. I, I, you see why your wife get mad Saturday me. night when the woman will hug you? You need to stop it. You yeah, boy. I, 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 I didn't like that, boy. She said, I ain't there with your wife was spinning my ear. But boy, that wasn't, that wasn't anyway, easy. Anyway, praise Jesus. Yes. Probably, yeah, they're full of it, her husband. Huh? So listen, uh -huh. the little girl used to like me. Uh -huh. And I say little girl, she was young, she was younger than me, right? I was in the 11th or 12th grade, and she was in mm -hmm. like 7th grade, 9th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade, something like that, right? You know how we go on the islands, no, she's a little girl, we are messing with her little girls, in our mind. So she called me, she called my brother, Stefan, and, and he tell me, this girl on the phone will talk to you. So I said, oh, Jesus, roll my eye, and I pick up the phone. Hi, Howard, how are you? I said, she used to put on like the reporter's voice. It was, it was, it was wild. Pro proper English. It was just, hi, Howard, how are you? Right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. I said, oh, everything good. What's happening with you? Oh, my God. Uh, do you see what's going on with the Gulf War today? I, you can't believe what's going on. And, and she would want to talk to me and engage me with what was happening from an international standpoint. That's how I measure the points in my life. How old were you then? I was a young boy. What is a young boy? I don't know. I must have was 15. At the time, 15, 14, 15, something like that. It's a and young boy. You already ain't talk, you ain't talk about the punch and the, 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 the we never used to, type of thing. No, 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 no. We never get, we never used to be into the, I ain't that type of, we ain't. You ain't never fella? No. So how you get We never be? even used to have the punch in our house. My daddy used to bring the Freeport News, the Nassau Guardian, and so, the Tribune Home. So when you met your wife, you used to talk about these international Gulf War and all them foolishness? No, 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 no. This girl no, thought No, where you learned that from? This girl thought that... I, I was always in port... I was always... I was a part of... No, no stammer, man. Listen, I was you learned to talk to women? I was the you part you was of always the serious. debate team. I was a part that, of these things in my school. So how do you rap to a girl? You, how do you learn to rap to a girl? My Music? uncles. My uncles teach me. Oh, they sweet like that? They bad. Okay, I don't know. I just want to know because I know you got it. I know you got it. I know you got it. <laughs> Praise God. I, but Howard, I listen to the caller, right? And, and, and Bradley's my good friend, right? He's a very, very hardworking behemoth. I want to give a, a hats off to him, right? <laughs> but what I think a lot of people don't understand, Howard, some people eat every five, every other five years. They're like camels. They got to be able to have reservoirs, two stomachs. Yes. One stomach to hold so, food for five years. When they'll be in power, they eat good. Mm -hmm. When they have to go in power, they starve it. That's called the intermittent fasting. It just happened over years. Then you got some fellas, <laughs> like, you got some fellas like that, 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 that other radio host, I mean TV host, who just eat on everybody watch. You got some fellas who just So why are you like talking about people on my show? I just say in. Just some people are like that. You know, I ain't call no name, but I just simply say in. You know, so in this country, how do you survive? How do you make it in the political world? You said it's honorable. We spoke about honorability. How does honorability work when you need to eat every day? We got behaviors for coming home from school. Your son is in school. And let's go right back to the top of our conversation that you can only depend on the supremacy to take you through. Your son in school. When he comes back to the Bahamas, we have space for him? He creates space for himself. He graduated from high school. He, he will create space He's for him. He's one of the few people who graduated his high school. His father will have space for him. He's home now. That, that inheritance will go to my children's children. I will create space for my children. They're my children. I love them. And I will all I do is for them. You making some more? I will I practice every day. Praise God. Let me take a next. <laughs> 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 Let me take a next telephone call. Call on the line. Go ahead. Go ahead, caller. Good, good afternoon, Howard and Garth. How y'all doing? Hey, what's up, Banton? You, you made phone, it, you, you made it, you made it. Your phone sound like water in the line. <laughs> he crying. Boy, he says, baby, no. I was wondering if y'all taking calls today, man. Yeah, man, you see me talking. What's happening with you? Um, um, anyway, to hop into this conversation, um, um, it ain't the PLPs who are eating this time around, um, um, Howard. What? So, so, so God is watching something. Jesus, hold on, let me write this down. If, if they ain't eating, who eating? What today is? I, I, I don't know who the people are. June fourth, two thousand twenty-four. I don't know who the people are, but it's the PLP. Huh? Right. And so remember, I said that. Anton Thompson. I, I just, mar I mark it this day. I get to mark this okay, day in so, time. So, so, if so. anyone, if anyone seeks to question it, Anton Thompson said it. So, Anton right? said that the PLP ain't eating not this it time. It ain't the PLPs. 
Oh, so define and, define for for Howard and myself and the listening public what it means to eat. Give us a good solid definition of how to eat politically. What do you call you know, eating well politically? Let's say this. Howard Howard started off the conversation uh, yesterday, and I didn't have enough time to. to re- let me not say that. Make it short and sweet. It. Make it short and sweet for me. Go ahead. I didn't I didn't get into it yesterday, and you all sort of started off with it again today. But look, we have circumstances in the country where it's been decades in this Bahamalan, land, for instance, to give one or two examples, where we have created a new class of wealth creation for Bahamians. It's been decades in this country since we've created a new class of millionaires, Bahamian millionaires, government-led creation of Bahamian millionaires in this country. It's been decades in this country where we've created a new class of bohemian hundred thousandaires in this country, right? It's been decades in this country since we've expanded dramatically the middle class in this country. It has been quite the opposite, to be frank, to be quite frank. And we could go back to the beginning of the Hubert Ingram era. In politics, 92. or error in politics, or whatever you want Anton, to Anton, let, right? me, let me pause you there a minute, because I know you got something written before you that's extensive, right? Uh-huh. I listen and God. I have known individuals who hmm. have been politically favored, who right. have received not one contract, right. two contracts, hmm. five to ten contracts, hmm. big money. Hmm. At the end of five years, they have hmm. absolutely no money. They're in debt and they shabby. Let me, God, I, 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 I can try to finish this for you. God. I will try to finish this for you. God. I've known individuals. I've known right. these people. I've right. known these people to fly to Miami, like how in the old glory days. For lunch. Atlantic uh-huh. City. Just pick up Kentucky uh-huh. Fried Chicken with, with, with a new friend. New mm. friend. That could be male or female friend. To Florida for the day and come back. Go to New York and come back. I've right. been to auctions by, by an international embassy right here in our country. They're going to call their name. Mm. And they buy in three, four, five used cars from right. the embassy. And they right. have five years, they ain't got none. <laughs> I have known some of these people who have been blessed uh-huh. by man, not by God, because the right. things that the only idols they bought, right. and they give them out to the three, four, five, six sweethearts that we talked about on this show. And they right. have nothing left after five years. What I'm saying in short uh-huh. is that it's not that the creation of millionaires was not taking place, mm. but the misappropriation and the mismanagement no. of no. finances put in the hey. hands of these people... Hey. And they have thrown it hey God, before the hey swag. Hey, guys, you're absolutely let me, incorrect. Let me, let me, let That's me, not how that goes. That. Can, can you hear me, Howard? That, that ain't how that goes. Tell us how it goes. Oh, let no, me tell no, you how it goes. You I, don't get no contract I, without hold commitments. Howard, okay. hold on, None. hold on, Howard. Hold on. Go ahead. Let me set that right. Let me set that right. <laughs> if, if you listen to what I said, God. Go ahead. It has, been, it has been decades, and I stand by that, since a new class, one or two, Individuals may kiss the ring, right? May benefit, right? But when I say class, God, that's you know what I mean. You're a learned man. That's I ain't a, talking with no but, one but or class two. got to start somewhere, old boy. No. I ain't talking with no one you, or two. You can't have that's a class. Hold on, God. All the money that's being spent. <laughs> At least 24 are going to be the class. All the money being spent uh-huh. by the government of the Bahamas uh-huh. belongs to who? Who does it belong to? The people. The Bahamian people, my uh-huh. brother. Uh-huh. Who should be the primary benefactors of our money? The, honor- the honorable men of the House the of Assembly. The behemoth, the my God. That's what God, they God. say. That's what they say. They stay money now. So, hey, God. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's a new class. Listen, your God. That's God a, and Howard. That's God a new class. Every hey, five God. years, we get a new class of people in Parliament. And uh-huh. they have an opportunity to move forward. Every five years. God, 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 God only. Howard. Howard. God. Please stop. Howard. Go ahead. Go ahead, Anton. I ain't talking about no um, um, minimalist opportunities. See, look, if, 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 we can, if we can be frank, let's be frank, let's all be right? Frank. Okay. Um, um, I said during the, during the, and I, I, I want to end on a, on an FNM note, right? I want to end on an FNM note, but we're just talking about right now. Who, 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 who is the reign of government right now? Who has the opportunity to reset the clock right now? Mm-hmm. I ain't talking about no minimalist opportunities. I ain't talking about no scavenge meat coming from the table. I talking about behemoths, behemoths at large sitting at the table, eating 
from the table, eating the best that is being offered at the table. That's a different mindset, my brother. That is a totally different My I talking about no poverty mindset where you throw scraps at behemoths and expect that behemoths Scra- to be you call it happy for that. Call you it understand? Crumbs. But now you waiting, you wait like how it say you waiting for it to come to you now that you oh. waiting for a spoon to come oh. flying to you oh. now. Do you, you want to come and give that to you? God. I'm, asking, I'm just asking a question. Because we should, spoke about that should, earlier. God, you should know You should know better than to make a statement like that. Who, me? I just ate red snapper yesterday, sir. You a whole big plate full. I had a whole big tray full of that. And the day before, I had lamb chop, man. I eat hey. good in the Bahamas. I worry about y'all. And you, with get y'all you get a contract? No, I got no contract. <laughs> like you say, I got a higher power to take care of me, man. Praise let God. Me, let me, let me, this is the last break. This is my last break. Go ahead. Let me open a Japanese mm. note that I wanted to end on, right? Uh, how would you get up, Nikolai? Yeah. And I like you. They start the music, on Anton. You gotta, you gotta run through it. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, um, look. It, 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 it says something very serious about politics and democracy in the country when a leader who's supposed to be an equalizer, who's supposed to be um, um someone who brings together, who pulls together, has to get into the ring has to get into the ring in order to bring an individual opponent across to the opposite side on the finish side in first place. That that says a lot. Hold that on. Is a Let's statement. shoot straight. You trying to say Hubert Ingram getting the ring? Listen, yeah. He was deep in the ring. Hubert Ingram was coaching. He was only coaching. He was only coaching. He was the Ark of the Covenant. He was only coaching. One and done. He was coaching. One and done. He was coaching. You call that coaching, Howard? One and done. Yeah, well, that's what the coach got to say. You call that coaching? That's what the coach got to say. He was deep in the ring. And guess what? And guess what? And guess what? I was, I was. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. I'm not suggesting that he's not entitled to support. I'm suggesting the key word being the honorable thing, the conventions and the practices of honorable men, right, were thrown away. And, and and that's not to say, that's not me saying that Pintad is not a good man. That's not me saying that Pintad didn't have the right message. That's not me saying that Pintad doesn't have good intentions for the country because his speech was surely... But not the not not the not not the victory speech. The speeches before the victory speech was surely in line with where we need to go yes. in the country. Right? right. However, I, however, right you look at what all it took in order to get to the next side, we have some serious unraveling and a lot more discussion to take place regarding the whole entire situation. I like it, Anton. The right. I like that. The government, and we can retain government if we do right by the people. Well, right Anton, the I don't, I appreciate you. I don't know if the PRP could be able to do that. We can know by the end of this year. Yeah. By the end of, see the budget already then, by the end of the budget. Yes. By the end of this budget, yeah. we will know if the PRP can win the next general election. Oh, man. By the end of this one. Because guess why? The FNM has already set the tone. Yeah. They All right, should, let's should, go. Yeah. Quick commercial, but get right back after this. Foundation. Calling all pizza lovers. Craving something extraordinary? Head into Marco's Pizza and try our golden crust deep dish pizza. Made thick and delicious with fresh dough, fresh cheese, and fresh sauce. And baked to perfection with your toppings of choice. No one makes pizza quite as good as we do. Enjoy all this goodness for $14.75 only at Marco's Pizza. Make the right choice and order Marco's at Marco's PizzaBahamas.com. Bonneville Bones, established in 1970, is the leader in men's fashion in the Bahamas. We're conveniently located in the Mall at Marathon and the Harbor Bay Shopping Plaza, and fully stocked with everything you need for all occasions. Our Harbor Bay location is one door north of Alive, with the black and white signage of Bonneville Boutique. Both locations are open from 10 to 7 p.m., Monday through Saturday. Bonneville Bones and Bonneville Boutique still the leader in men's fashion. Located in the Mall at Marathon and the Harbor Bay Shopping Plaza. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Very, very, very quickly, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio, being able to do these things. Yes, we're going to know by the end of this year. By the I mean, you know, let's just be decent. By the end of this budget, because if in your budget you're gonna have a conversation with us about the increase or hike in the budget for a consultancy fee, that means that you're gonna have more conversation and less action. This is your budget. Mm-hmm. This is not an F and M budget. This is nothing that you meant there that you need to execute. This is your budget. This is your budget. And in your budget, if you found it necessary to be able to identify thirty million dollars for the acquisition of a has-been hotel. 
That you could be able to execute, in my mind, eminent domain, for because this place has been dilapidated and continues to burn. And then you can't be able to identify these things and you want to have a casual conversation simultaneously. You want to fight the port in your budget. Mm -hmm. Then you can tell us you can mm -hmm. break down almost 15 to 20 percent of the place by being able to open up West High Sunrise Highway. People in Grand Bahama can't even afford gas. What you open the road for? Well, Howard, I. What you open the road for? I got a message. Who can ride there? I got a message on, on Facebook, right? And it just went back to the days when you and I were together on another station. People don't know how far back you and I go. Mm -hmm. But um, we've always spoken about potential leadership coming from Grand Bahama. It, it has not happened as we know it. Uh, a prime minister from the family island itself who resides in the family island. Um, when we looked at Grand Bahama, we spoke about lifting Grand Bahama and how it has been probably some 10 years or more we've been discussing this matter and still nothing has happened. We will know by the end of this budget if the PLP is steadfast in their commitment to be able to move forward. I want to have a very clear conversation in these last three minutes that we can hear. Go ahead. Let's have a very clear conversation. In your budget, 140, more than $141 million allocated for new Ministry of Work Roads project. And if you listen to the station, you'd identify that significant portions of that are in constituencies where you want to be able to retain going forward. I accept that. I'm not going to fight you. But $5 million you want to pepper and sprinkle with road projects by patching in certain areas. Areas that needs to be improve significantly this your budget this your budget and if Anton in his capacity anointed by the PLP could call the station and indicate that this New Day administration is not feeding PLPs how in the world we expect them to be able to change anything let's have a real conversation and I've always said you let's have, have a real conversation after the third year of reigning the progressive liberal party uh, the tide begins to turn I, I said that to you for the last 20 years that's Listen. what's been happening the Ministry of Health and Wellness has a significant responsibility to identify an opportunity to uplift Bahamian people. They can and the opportunities that. that they exist and present to the Bahamian people is CMOS. So when you're sick, you can't get antibiotics. When you're sick, you can't get these particular things. Everyone's calling in and having a conversation about how high medicine is. You must have got to go boil CMOS and eat that. Ah, let's have a clear conversation. This is the PLP's budget. Well, guess what? I, I like what and you're if saying. the FNM don't come with the aggression to be able to dissect this accordingly, I, I, I was just they about got to, say to that. be joking. I just was about to say. They but got guess to what? chop this down. But here's the difference now. Here's the difference now. Um, the difference now is that we now see the emergence of Hubert Alexander Ingram that I do believe. Hold on. Hold on. Yes. I got to say this. You keep bringing. No, I got to bring back. it back. I got to bring it back because you yourself said that he is a political demigod as it were in the region. No, you say demigod. Well, I, I'm using that because it, it encapsulates what I'm trying to You're not going to stretch it out of my tongue. You need to stop. So, 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 so <laughs> with, 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 with his involvement, it's almost like he's coming, as you said, to coach the situation. Yes. I am looking for a fierce battle from this point forward. So as you correctly said, with this particular budget, guess what? with their budget, if they don't do their homework, I guarantee you. And the Greg coach. Davis came out of their law firm. Yeah, but so they, he Greg knows the language. Davis knows the language, the language. and the nature, and that means also when Hubert Ingram was able to defeat P uh, Lyndon Pinlin is because of the proximity and the language. He knew the language. Ah, he knew the language. So you telling me now that the coach could tell uh, uh, Michael Pintar, "Hey, expect Brave to do this, this, this." And he knows that. All right. Let's have I a guess conversation. And he can do that Bravey and even here. He, Ladies anyway. and gentlemen, tomorrow we're going to be able to join and dive deeper into these things. The, out here, uh, it's uh, only two minutes before we can be able to do this. You know, text uh, come to uh, it. They, I got a bunch of texts. Let me see if I can read this. Tell Anton. Uh, <laughs> 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 they say somebody say, great, great show as usual. Tell him he made Rodney. I ain't calling nobody name. I ain't going to come on my show and call people <laughs> name. They call this is them. PLP gone. FNM did house cleaning and they got rid of minutes. Now the PLP is gone. Tell Anton LH, take a shit. This is hilarious. Don't make me form another people radio. Really <laughs> They're calling people <laughs> name. LH, LH, They're calling people name. Shout out to LH. LH, you're good, man. Yeah, uh, good day, Howard. Uh, a lot of Bohemians are not eating. I was on the food program and social services getting $90 and $2 a month and they stopped that. I heard the stories like that. And I'm a disabled person. Let Anton know. Okay, please, Howard, someone need to address the congestion on Harold Road concerning road traffic. It's pure chaos and frustrating. We can talk. I can yeah. ride out there. I've been out there. Don't this go there. Ask, Anto ask Anton uh, what he thinks about the Gulf War. You, you're doing it too much, right? Yeah, it's not doing too much, right? Uh, good afternoon, Howard and Garth. 
uh, don't forget about 9-11. Come on, man, y'all need to stop about it. You see, mm. y'all come on this radio and try to make things political and don't be, don't, you don't think that we are part of the world? We are part of the world. Mm-hmm. If you cannot say that uh, uh, if America sneezes, we catch the cold, and don't think that applies in every aspect. Every aspect. In every aspect. Mm-hmm. The housing crisis, people ain't traveling to the Bahamas. Now, you're having a conversation about the fact that you're having high, the high-end visitors don't, are not coming to the Bahamas, and they've increased the position of people being able to go on cruises. On oh, cruises, yes. Well, yeah, you know why? Because of pan- the pandemic. Yeah. The pandemic has placed in people's mind, it's time to see the world. The pandemic has placed in people's mind, you could die any day. My God, the wrong sneeze and your chest squeeze, you might go. Have mercy. Let me go and see the world. Pass off and please. Now, we have been the recipients because of our proximity. But now that people are stretching far and wide, we're going to see whether or not the Ministry of Tourism has the campaign to retain. Yes. Has yes, the campaign yes, to yes. put people in. That's vision. That's we vision. can see it now. That's, that's vision. We can see it now. That is vision. Okay, now let me talk. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the show today. I want to thank you so very kindly for your tuning in. And you all got me hot now under the collar. Because yeah. everything will rise and fall on local yeah, politics. You, you go home and practice. There that. are practice geopolitics. And there is global politics yeah. that we're not considering. And we need to give more consideration to what's happening beyond what's at our nose. Lift up your head to the horizon and understand that we are a part of a global system. That is why I keep saying, so tr- if you don't have conviction, you don't need to be in politics. So Trump go to jail, some people going to jail. We'll talk about that later. Let's talk about that later. All right, Ladies and later. gentlemen, we're out of here. I want to thank you so very kindly for being able to tune in. We're going to see you here tomorrow. God spare right here on 96.9 FM Radio, The Foundation with Howard Grant. The Foundation. The Foundation of Hard Grant is brought to you by Alive, Bomb for Bones, Burger King, Commonwealth Bank, Epic Battery, Grand Bahama News, Popeyes, Printmasters, and Ron's Electric Motors.